it's not. Now this is the worst case scenario that could happen to you when you get your tires mounted. I really want to tell you guys my story on how I went to over 10 shops to just try to get two tires on for a pair of wheels. <laughs> this was like a two week journey that felt like an eternity because you just keep on trying different things but nothing ever works. I'll tell you guys the ins and outs of going to different shops and what to expect, especially in the South San Francisco Bay Area um, area. Me personally, I have a hard time even trusting any shops. Sorry about the headphones because I was, I'm editing this video because this was about around December time. Anyways, before I show you guys the footage that's gonna go right after this, I wanna tell you guys a, a little backstory between all this time. To start off, I wanna give a huge shout out to these three shops in my area. A Gundy's, Rolling Stock, and Bay Tires. I wanna give a huge shout out to you guys because they just put a massive amount of effort in trying to get the tires on. They weren't really successful. Yeah, I really try to look for that in shops, them trying to help me out as much as possible because there are some shops that I go to that do a half-ass job and I still have to pay them. I don't want to get too into this because it's kind of a touchy subject and it could lead to conflict. But I'm gonna move along to how many shops I actually went to. I visited nine shops and called two. In the very beginning, I ordered the tires from Elite Performance in Burlingame. It just made the most sense to get it through them because I get it in one day and it's cheaper. Then I go to three other shops. One shop tried and failed. I had to pay out of pocket for that. Another shop didn't have a tire machine anymore because they were going out of business. And the third one just didn't really have time for me. Throughout this process, I think I have experienced most of what could have happened. The next situation is the first clip you guys saw oh, it's not. of them dropping my wheels. That's rolling stock, but don't get me wrong. They tried their asses off to get one tire on, which they did. That's when I found out that the RPF ones themselves are really hard to stretch tires on because of the wheel drop. I'll show you guys a photo of how they look like. For rolling stock, I left my wheels overnight as well so they could ratchet it down and all that. Still didn't work for the second wheel. When the boss found out that the wheels were damaged because they weren't allowed to do the fire method, but I guess the workers brung it over to try it. It was free of charge for the wheel damage and I really appreciate that. They're a really good commercial tire shop if you're ever in the area of San Francisco. It's a pretty rough drive so if you have a slam car then <laughs> I guess avoid that and just bring your wheels alone. Then I went to another shop, Bay Tires, and he tried to get them on for me, but mentioned that the weather wasn't hot enough to even get them on. And that was free of charge, but unlike other shops, he gave it a good try and not trying over and over. He kind of knew from his knowledge of tires that it wasn't gonna go on. Finally, I decided just go with new tires. I heard that the brand Acelera had softer tires and they run kind of bigger, unlike the Federal 595 where it's stiffer and it runs bigger. The softness of the Acelera really did work in my favor because when I went to Gundy's, they were able to get both of them on using the fire method, I think. Going to most of these shops, there was either the fire method or the Cheetah Bomb, which is a massive amount of air going in at once. Rolling stock had three cheetahs going off in the wheel, but it didn't work. That was basically my whole journey to get two tires on. It was well worth it though. I've learned so much through this experience because I know that the wheel affects tire stretch, the tire brand, and how stiff and wide it runs affects it. And even with the shop, like do you have a shop that's willing and down to do stretch tires for you? Sometimes there's shops that are just in it for the money or really wanna help you. And it's really trial and error. If you ever find yourself in this situation, just know that it comes with the game. If you're gonna be in the stance scene, then you're gonna have to deal with this. Make sure to get the right tires, the right wheel, and the right shop. 
Let's get back into the video. The last and final shop that I went to, a Gundy's. Thank you again. At this point, I was really sick and tired of going to shops. All right, another video once again. This is about the tires. I'm trying not to waste any time because I already have the wheels loaded in the van. I bought new tires because the Federals wouldn't stretch on. I'm gonna have them try again, but if they can't, I have other tires that are hopefully softer. They're Acceleras. And the good thing is, I don't have to use my car to transport the wheels because I'm a delivery driver. That's a perk, I guess, for my job. I get to use this van. And if I need to use it for my wheels, I'll just use it. <laughs> All right, let's head to the shop now. Hopefully they can get it on. Last time the shop couldn't get my tires on because supposedly it was too cold. So on the drive to the shop, I have the heater on full blast and I am dying right now. But today's a bit warmer than the other day I went. Stars should align and allow me to get my tires on. One other thing I noticed, the tires that aren't mounted yet, the new ones are kind of softer to the touch. Not sure if that'll make a difference, but I know Federals are stiffer. Just got here, and if you're wondering what shop it is, it's a Gundy's. Uh, if you're local to like South San Francisco area, they, I think, do a good job. Let's see. They're on, oh my God. These tires were definitely easier to get on, I'd say. Another day, and today's gonna be a busy day. I have to hurry it up, put these wheels on, get it ready for the alignment, and I have a special surprise if everything goes well. Car is all jacked up, I need to take off the wheels, put these on. Those are boots um, that are basically twice as long as the stock ones. These are universal truck shock boots or something. I'm gonna use it because my tie rod is basically extended and all that. Another thing, we're gonna put on different wheels. I might have to raise the car. Now that was way harder than it looked. I think it gets smaller as it gets to the SN, so it just kept on getting more and more difficult to get it on. But I got it on. Zip tied that side, this side. There's nothing, but let's just let it be for now. I'm gonna do the same on the next side, but the thing that worries me is that this tire is way more meatier than this. I might have to raise my car if I do rub really bad. You could see the difference, I don't know. Yeah, this is like way more flat. This curves out. Let's see it though. These are the new ones, by the way. When getting the boot on, I'm getting a little bit of grease and putting it on the edges so it could get on the boot will help. But I noticed like if you twist, use like a twisting motion, it's way better as well. I did that one way easier. Four, five, I just count that. Fitment is. I think I will clear. I just realized my camera's super oily. I'm gonna put on the rears now. The front's, for the most part, done. My coils are maxed out. They're all the way bottomed out. I'm just gonna be double checking my preload, see where it's at. My preload in the rear is different than my front. I have it one spanner wrench in the rear and then two in the front. Just because I want the fronts more stiffer. The fitment will be sunk. I'd rather have the front fitment than the rear. I'll eventually get the fitment on point for now since I'm getting an alignment really soon. This will do. Hopefully I'm not late to my alignment appointment but I wanna show you guys how it is right now. So this is really sunk. But how I want it is like this flush for the most part. I'll see you guys at the alignment shop. Okay, I'm on the way to the alignment shop right now. But I am rubbing on my bumper, I think. I think it should be fine though, so we'll see. This is me driving straight. 
I did my best that I can on my eye alignment. I really want to see the initial specs of my eye alignment. See how bad or good it was. I'm rubbing a good amount though. They're currently backed up right now. I don't know if they'll be able to fit me in. I did my last measurements. I think it's how I want. Kind of too low, but mm, it won't hurt. Again, I'm at a Gundy's tire shop. Hit him up. They did my tires. Hopefully, I trust them with the alignment. <laughs> so hard for me to keep my car all alone so I'm just watching it. I swear I get like anxiety looking at them working on it. <laughs> at this point in the video I was so scared. What actually ended up happening is that the sensor hit my fender because the tie rod popped off when he was adjusting it. There's a lot more to the story. I'm just gonna show you what happened and in the next video I'll show you guys the process. It kind of sucks because when I really did put my trust in them they failed. I'll actually continue this in the next video because I ended up getting a free alignment. Nothing really goes smooth when you have to go to shops though. That's pretty much all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.